Welcome to my lecture online. Now let's do part B of the problem we did in the previous video. We noticed that when a person gets onto that 3,200 pound buoy, it pushes it down an additional one third of a foot, 0.33 feet. But what happens now when that person suddenly jumps off the buoy, the, bow, the buoy will come back up, but it will start oscillating in terms of simple harmonic motion. And the question is, what will be the period of that oscillation after the person jumps off. So when we think about simple harmonic motion, we think about the angular frequency. And we know that the angular frequency omega is equal to the square root of k over m, which means we need to find the k and we need to find the m. Now the k can be found by realizing that when the person got onto the buoy, it pushes the buoy down 0.33 feet. So we can say that f equals kx, or k is equal to the force divided by x, so in this case it would be 150 pounds, divided by about one-third of a foot, which means it's about 450 um, pounds per foot. And so that would be the spring constant of the buoy. Now the mass. We're talking about the mass of the buoy. Now the mass of the buoy can be found by taking the weight. So in this case, the little m is actually going to be the big M, the mass of the buoy, because that's the thing that's going to be oscillating back and forth. So we know that the mass is going to be equal to the weight divided by g. And in this case, the weight is 3,200 pounds. And g, the acceleration to gravity, is 32 feet per pound. And so you can see, uh, 32, oh, not feet per pound, feet per second squared, second squared. <laughs> and so that means we end up with a mass equal to 3200 divided by 2, which is 100 slugs. And slugs is the unit of mass in the imperial system. So now we have K, we have M, now we're ready to find the period. Because we know that the frequency, or omega, is equal to 2 pi times the oscillation frequency, or the frequency is equal to 1 over 2 pi times omega. And of course, since omega is equal to the square root of k over m, that will be the equation for the frequency. And finally, the period, which is equal to 1 divided by the frequency, will be 2 pi times the square root of m over k. And so all we have to do here is plug in the numbers, which is 2 pi times the square root of the mass, the mass would be 100, and k would be 450. So the period is, and now of course we need a calculator. So we have 100 divided by 450, take the square root, times 2 times pi equals about 2.96 seconds, 2.96 seconds, so that's approximately 3 seconds will be the period of oscillation. So put a little squealy there, that means approximately three seconds will be the period of oscillation of that buoy after a person jumps off. And that is how we do that.